Hi there, so big news today for sequential Profit 10 owners or people differing between getting the Profit 5 and the Profit 10. Get the Profit 10, I can now say, because they've just released a new OS where you can stack two different sounds on top of each other or split the keyboard with two different sounds. That's a real game changer in what is already a fantastic synth. Um, to be honest, a lot of people have reached out to me saying, should I get the Profit 5 or get the 10? And when I initially had it, I just said get the 5, because actually I couldn't feel any real benefit in having the 10 voice. It's not something you're going to play big jazz extended you know, chords on. Uh, so there didn't seem like there was that much benefit. But that's really changed now because you've got the Poly Unison, which they recently introduced anyway. That already makes it worth getting a Profit 10 because you can stack two sounds on top of each other and detune them and it just sounds massive. But now being able to stack two different sounds on top of each other just opens up a whole new world of possibilities, you know, and you can be clever with it. And obviously being able to split the keyboard as well with two different sounds if as a performance thing is fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to show you around the new features and just play you a few sounds. If you're new to my channel, by the way, please click on the subscribe button and the alert bell. I've got loads of videos. Go and check them out and enjoy. All right, let's get straight into it. So once you've updated the firmware, it's ready to go. The way to access the new features is press and hold preset. You can see it says normal uh, and you can use the bank select and group select to go back and forward between the modes, stacked mode and split mode. And the way it works is if you're in stacked mode, you can now see this little dot after the second digit. That means you're in stacked mode. The way to flick between the two sounds is press preset and it goes from A to B. A is the sound that we selected in the first place, which was this sound. And if we put it back into stack mode, now B is in this instance on this patch. By the way, when you save this patch, it will save as a stacked patch and even though all the other patches are still in normal mode it will come up as a stacked patch the only thing is that the B sound will be whatever that patch is originally because basically what's happening is uh, the patch is just showing the synth where the B patch is um, so if you edit that B patch and then save it it's not going to save the the edited savings of the B sound, if that makes any sense. So it's a little limited in that respect. You have to kind of plan ahead and know, okay, I want B sound to be like this, save it somewhere else, and then put it, add it to A. I like to use the B sound as a harmonic sometimes, you know, just flicking it to a weird frequency. <laughs> get the idea. Uh, obviously there's often a disparity between the volumes of A and B but that can be resolved by pressing and holding velocity. So uh, you should check which you're on. This is A, this is B. Okay I want to change B, I want to make it quieter. So I press and hold velocity and then again you're using the group and bank select buttons to change the increments. The only annoying thing is you can't just press and hold it, you have to flick through like that, but there you go. It's good finger practice. Okay, so I've turned that B down now.
So let's, we've got this sound. Let's split that now. Press and hold preset, go to split. And now that is the lower half of the keyboard. And you can set your own split point by holding the note you want it to split at. Press and hold preset and press bank. Um, so uh, let's choose a sound for B. I'm going to have. Thank you. 